Welcome, comrades. We are back in Rocket League, and we have probably the biggest update to come so far. Um, we're here with another member from uh, Team Rocket Cox here, and um, he's kind of covered a lot of it. So w why don't you, uh, Kronos, why don't you uh, kind of tell us more about it? How's it going, Putin people? Uh, uh, you've seen me in a couple of videos before. I'm Kronos, and I'm going to help guide you through some of the update notes that we've seen so far so um i don't know i see that uh just hovering over it i saw that garage has uh two different options now what's what's going on with that okay so when we go to our garage menu here obviously before it just took you to where your items were right right um so now let's start with this first one just customized car and this is uh traditionally where we had started right so it would take us directly to the screen and uh would this is where we'd customize our decals and paint I, schemes and I all that stuff. I thought that um, there was more in there new cars. So there are some new cars. Um, as far as I know, right now they aren't available yet. So oh, okay. um, there are a couple new cars uh, specifically. So brand new, never before seen, inspired by the new uh, the new map that's come out, Neo Tokyo. And uh, those are called Esper and Masamune. I'm probably butchered the hell out of that, <laughs> but uh, sounds good to me. They'll be available July 18th on the digital versions, and then a couple of classic cars from uh, Sarp for uh, called Aftershock and Marauder that'll also be available on the 18th. And of course, you know, new decals and stuff for those vehicles as well. Right. Um, as far as within the garage goes within this kind of customization part, not much else has changed as far as I can see. Um, of course, other than new items that we can talk about here in a minute. I but if you go back, there's a new button that we kind of avoided at first, but it's called manage inventory. Yeah. And this oh. is kind of cool. So beforehand, I, I was actually pretty critical and you, you can attest to this of, you know, the whole collectible system because we had all these items that we kept getting Holy over and crap. over again, and I, there was no point. And every time you'd get that new item, that annoying little exclamation point would pop back up, and it sucked. Yeah, don't joke. Oh my god. So now what you can do is, within this inventory system, you can actually see very easily laid out how many of each item you have. And so, for example, I have five alien heads sitting right here. Lucky. And so if you click on, for example, alien heads, I can click on all five of mine and it comes up with an option called oh, trade in. Yeah, yeah, I see that. And as you can see here, it says trade in five items of the same quality. So not necessarily the same item, but the same quality. So uncommon, common, rare, etc. And it. it will give you one item of the next quality up. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, let's see. Oh, wait, what happened? Confirm trade. Except. It's like the item will be exchanged for one new item of higher quality. Sure, you want to continue? Yeah, let's see. Oh, we got wildcat ears. See, and I just got a new new item called the drink helmet. It's a, and since I traded in five uncommon toppers, it gives me one rare topper, and it kind of looks like the little freaking hard hat with the the beer cans on the side with the straw. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you see it like stadiums, like rednecks oh, yeah. at stadiums with. Oh yeah. And so you can see here, that's ba basically what this is for. Um, so far, nothing really yet connected to like the Steam trading system. Um, so I don't think you so can these trade are all, items. No, no, you don't pay money for any of the items or just all the crap you get normally. Yeah, the way I understand it, it's all within, uh, within Rocket League itself. And it's focused on getting you new items and stuff. Let's see, I got, what is that? RoboVisor. There you go. Uh, a couple more things to take note of here. Um, you can also, there's a new, as I said earlier, there's new item rarity. So rare and very rare item drops are now a thing. Again, you can use the trade-in system to get, get these other items or they are random drops as well. Again, I'm assuming rare and very rare will be harder to find. So these, like, like I got a rare topper, the RoboVisor, that still has a chance to be picked up you don't yeah, it's it's not absolutely. just the yeah it's, okay. it's not just through the trading system it can also be dropped um after okay. matches. another new thing is called item attributes what? and they're they're bonus properties that they can sometime come with an with the online item drop and so these attributes 
so far. I haven't seen them yet, so it's going to be interesting for me and, and you to kind of find this out as we go along, are supposed to change the item in a little way. I don't think it'll give you any support sort of competitive bonuses, but they will do... Like appearance-wise, or...? Yeah, they're, so one of the attributes is called the painted attribute, and it recolors an existing item. And so specifically listed out in their patch notes, you can see that uh, wheels and toppers are are part oh, of this. So I got a rare decal for tra trading in hats. Sweet. I did not know you it's could It's called do that. junk food for breakout. I have to check it out. Okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> You're fine? Oh, I just got a rare decal for the Venom. It's called Flex. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, there's a whole bunch of new different things in here that weren't we've never seen before. Yeah, this is awesome. I like this. It's, it's like a little extra dynamic that I feel like uh, people that really like progression, you know, that feel that like that sense of progression... Um, I feel like that's going to really add something because I know some people, which I know me and you, you know, we have hundreds of hours in this game and it doesn't ever feel old to us. Like we still play it. It doesn't, we don't have to keep getting new levels, new items. I, I we both still like it, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. But I, for but, some people I've heard it, they feel like it's just repetitive and I don't see it, but apparently it's a thing. <laughs> I can understand that for sure. Um, one more thing about attributes that I've that I've uh, read about so far is called the certified attribute, and so what that does is it makes a track specific statistic while equipped in online matches. Online matches. So wait, wait, say it again. It's called a certified attribute, and what it does is it helps you track different things. And so, you know how when you go on your like your toppers, for example, it tells you how many goals you have with that topper. Right. So now you can do that with other items, and it can track items or track specific statistics. They don't really have it listed out, but I'm guessing that's something like maybe you could track specifically aerial goals with with a topper if you wanted to, or epic saves. So just a little bit extra dynamic there that oh, you can okay. look into over time. So it's kind of like um, I don't know in Counter Strike. I think some of those skins and stuff they have like stat tracks or something i don't know much about that i haven't played counter strike in a long time but i i guess it's kind of the same idea yeah exactly and so one final thing about that as you earn more stats with a particular item so say you you set it to track aerial goals if that's a thing i'm not sure so don't quote me on that but as you set it to track that and you, as you get more stats with that particular item it will gain a, a quote unquote increasingly prestigious title so I'm kind of interested to see how, how that'll play out uh, over time. Interesting. Yeah. So let me see if there's anything else we can talk about I'm going about to the showroom. Here. I want to see if this is... Yeah, let's, let's talk about the showroom real quick. Oh. So the showroom is essentially a way for them to show off their paid DLC. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. 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 So as you can see here, they've got premium cars, NBA, and the NBA flag pack. And uh, they're colored differently based on what you actually have. Yeah. So it's. I like me, it's, this. It's just a little. It always shows you the decals included. Yeah, exactly. You can, so you can look at the different decals available for each car, set them up. Like, hey, that's kind of that's kind of cool, man. I kind of want this want this DLC now. And for for people who are solely in it for the aesthetics, that's a good way to preview uh, what they're buying. I like that. It's it looks um, it's nicer than just having those random banners. It looks a little more polished, I guess. Yeah, and you know, before you couldn't, all, all you had was the update note, right? You couldn't ever really see what all you were getting, but with this one you can. Right, right. And uh, you can also, on the right-hand side, you can actually show the, there's a button called Show Pack Info, and when you click on that pack, it will, uh, oh, yeah, and then okay. do Show Pack, it will actually like lay it out in the list, as, more like we're uh, traditional, traditionally yeah. we're, we saw it before. So, yeah, they uh, they specifically created this so you can view the premium content, full camera rotation, decal previews, everything to figure out if you want to actually buy the buy the package. Okay, so there's a there's a part of this huge update is a new map, right? We have to check that out. I feel there's like. actually more than one new map. Oh, there's more than one. I thought it was just yeah. Tokyo. No, there's a new Rocket Labs map too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and that gives me a good. Uh, Good segue. I'm going to create a private match here. So, like I said, let's join, join it up on the blue squad. Oh, what is this? Yeah. It's what? pretty nifty. Where are you at? Oh, jeez. I didn't even know where you started. 
Oh, this is weird. And if you look at my car, I've got something else to show you too. New boost. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. I, 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 I oh. You know, we that, suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, as we uh, most of us know, they did come out with a uh, new boost based on the highest rank you achieved in season two. And so for both of us, that's the uh, the star star boost because we both got blue. And they also, you get everything you were up to and below. So we were blue stars. We get the challenger boost levels and the prospect boost levels as well. And those are just, you know, within your, uh, uh, within your garage. There we go. Ooh, scoring it like a boss. Yeah. So I want to oh, show you something oh. real quick. I want you to watch the, uh, watch the chat oh. here. They have new ch quick chats. What? And I did not it, know this was happening. Yeah, and we'll, we'll show you after uh, after the match here. There's actually a place they have a ton of quick chats now, and you can customize them to whatever you want them to be. No so way! They, they have like, a huge <laughs> list of pre-selects, and they're all quick chats. So like, they're all pre-selected. You can't type your own things. Oh, as far okay. As I like that. But there's some awesome ones. Oh, like nice block. Or this one. What's a calculated? <laughs> nice. uh, I just I like added that. a couple in there. So, uh, as far as defaults go, they're mostly the same. Um, instead of centering, the, so if it was up and then left. It's mm -hmm. now ne need boost. So you can set it back if you want to. It's just not by default. Okay. All right. I like yeah. that. Because I kind of uh, already made some macros <laughs> for some things. Like, oh. Yeah, we're, we're pretty familiar with those, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it made it onto your videos somehow. At some point. We'll see if the um, loyal fans amongst us can remember <laughs> what those are. Question of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what were the uh, macros that Putin speaks of? <laughs> Put it in the comment section down below. Shit. All right, so the next part of this is about to show up right here. What? Welcome to the Oh, showcase. that's awesome. Yeah, so this is the after. Uh, this is actually called the end of game spotlight, and you can see they're given a little medal. So I got tactician. And one thing we missed is you can actually oh. tr spin your car around, jump, flip, and this it's, it's your time to show off. That is cool. I really like that. Yeah, so kind of tells you a little bit more about your skill level within the games, and uh, yeah. I'm a so, I'm a huge fan of that. That's that's a yeah. I think good it's addition. really cool, a good gratification type thing. But I'm going to give us like a little, uh, I don't know, five, fifty second, one minute, two minute. I don't know how much do you want. You're the boss here. We can do a little overview of the new map. Um, yeah, let's just go. Let's just go in it real quick and drive around. I just want to see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, we're quick. we're not gonna put any bots on this one. So let's uh, let's ready up. Oh, can you turn it off from in here? Yeah, you can. You've always been able to go uh, in private oh. matches to. Um, this to look looks at those. awesome. Oh wait, are the the edges are weird, right? Oh yeah, they are. You know why? There's a reason they got rid of underpass. This oh. is underpass. It's just all sort of different. So I'm guessing it's underpass, fleshed out. Yeah. So let me let's score here for a second. But let's, the the let's listen to see if there's like the scoring mechanic, like the sounds. Oh, yeah, there's scoreboards up top. I like that. Oh, that is cool. I just noticed that. But let's see what the sound is. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a digital... I don't know what that is. That's cool. But they... It is... So, it's underpass, but it's different. The, but, the the side... The front and back are different. But... Some quick quick notes on this game is it is based on the underpass lab... Uh, Rocket map lab. Layout. But it is immediately available in all playlists, including competitive. Oh, this is this is oh this this is already as soon as the rank the competitive matchmaking opens up will be in competitive. All right. So these you said the, there's something with the quick chat things. You change yeah. them. Yeah. So if you go to your options menu, you'll notice at the very far right there's a new uh, header called chat, and oh. within these you can change all of the, all of your different um, quick chat options based on whichever one they're actually at and so if you go into one of them you can see the, on the drop down there's a lot more here oh man 
Yeah. Oh. One, thing to, one thing to take note of is uh, the fir that first layer there under it's called information. So your up arrow, that's yeah. team chat only. So that'll only go to. Gotcha. Um, and also now in post game, if you look at the very bottom of this list. Yeah, yeah, I see that. You, you can chat, which is good for cross platform because before you could never say anything after games to people. You can never say GG. You can never say it. You can never you, say you know, everybody yeah, dance. You, <laughs> <laughs> so now now what you can do is uh add these different chats in post game and you can actually have some of that camaraderie build up between cross platform which i think is kind of cool i like this a lot this is yeah. this needed to come sooner this part I agree. especially i agree um let me see if there's anything else we missed here um some little for mouse and keyboard, they made a couple of changes. You can now assign cart movement and orientation to your mouse axes, so you can uh, change how that is going on. There's a new song in the main menu. It's a remix of Seeing What's Next, the Kevin Frey remix by Hollywood Principal. I like it. It's kind of cool. I think it was playing when this video first started. Yeah. This is, um, um, this was... Yeah, this... Okay, yeah. This song was originally in there, and now it's just remixed. I yeah, gotcha. it's a remix version of it, correct. Season 3 is about to begin. So everyone, competitive skill rankings have been reset, and so are they doing it how they did in season two, where you kind of it kind of used your last season to judge kind of where you're going to be, or is it just everybody's just like they start a new account? It is a complete skill wipe, and the reason oh. for this is because there was so much stagnation, especially in the higher ranks, and so they wanted to see how it would all play out, and we'll see. They haven't really detailed it here, but we'll kind of see how uh, they've fixed that issue. Maybe, you know, the win-loss ratios will be kind of different because I know once you got in, you know, grand champion tier and stuff, you know, winning would give you like a plus one bump to your skill level and losing would give you like a minus 16. So it was really hard and you almost had no incentive to keep playing ranked. And so the ranks never changed. Hmm. Okay. Also for those people on... PC who use family sharing Steam accounts, um, you are no longer able to use family sharing to play competitive. So if you if you have another account, you will have to buy a complete full copy of Rocket League on that account so to play. It's going to be a to, lot to less Smurfs. Yeah, and that that's exactly the reason for it. And I don't think Smurfing was necessarily the problem because you know people get bored, they want to rank up again, cool. I think it was more to combat boosting. So. You you would have a buddy get a new account, and it was, you know, basically free to use family sharing. You wouldn't have to pay anything extra, and then they could be a brand new account, very low levels, and they could boost your skill level up. Even right. Though, you know, for all we know, they could be a grand champion. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. And you said they also locked it, right? Did, that's a thing now. Aren't they locking it to where only you can only play competitive with? people a certain distance away from your rank correct so they haven't said much of it in the newest patch because i don't think it's happened yet um i think they're going to give it some time let the ranks hash out first but um coming within the next update so i don't know how long they plan on having that away uh there will be level caps and i think it's three three division difference so for example challenger one i think the highest division they can play with is challenger um elite and okay. i think it would be prospect two and it's so in parties of three or more or i guess three only because three is the max in competitive play that's the they do it based on the biggest difference it's not just you know between the party leader so between the highest and lowest ranked player within any party to play competitive together it can only be three divisions and it's within that particular game mode so it's not um it's not Ooh. yeah i i got a new decal for my my one and only <laughs> car oh uh, yeah i see it that's pretty man uh, i'm keeping this <laughs> so uh one more thing i just looked competitive season three has officially launched we have no skill rankings and uh i've got nothing else to say so if you want to wrap this up man it's back to you yeah um Appreciate y'all watching. Appreciate you, Chronos, for kind of walking us through, figuring out all the stuff they've you know rolled out. That is actually a lot more than I was expecting. I know I said it was the biggest update so far. 
I wasn't expecting this much. And there's also cars coming along the way, so I think that's... Uh, wait. It says the car's coming in at the 18th. Correct. It's the 20th. July 18th. July 18th. Oh, duh. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, there's new cars coming. Um, so, I don't know. I'm. This is pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. So, yeah, I think uh, that's it. And uh, appreciate y'all watching. If you like to give it a thumbs up, maybe. Maybe Don't there's a little... like, comment, and share. Yeah, share. And most of all, subscribe. Subscribe. There's a little P in this bottom right. I'm actually pointing to it, but there's actually nothing there. But um, anyways, <laughs> y'all have a good one. Bye.